Have you ever stumbled upon a classic TV series on your screen that brought a sense of enchantment and nostalgia? Perhaps it was during a cozy family evening or a lazy Sunday afternoon. This beloved show, which first aired in 1954, featured well-known Hollywood actors and quickly became a favorite for many viewers. Who was the actor you adored most from the cast? Now, here's something intriguing. There are numerous surprising and heartwarming facts about this series. So, keep your eyes peeled because there are plenty of surprises in store for you. Do you have any memorable moments watching this show? We'd love to hear your stories and treasured memories in the comments below. So, whether it's your first time tuning in or you're revisiting fond memories, get ready for an adventure filled with laughter, tears, and everything in between. This show has something for everyone. Television has had some incredible shows over the years that have left a lasting mark on our culture. One such show, starting in 1954, brought enchanting stories right into people's living rooms every week. This show influenced how we see cartoons and stories today. Even now, we can see its ideas in new Disney shows and movies. Its themes and characters are still loved by people of all ages. This show has had a big effect on how we tell stories, bringing us together through the power of imagination. It's a special part of TV history that continues to inspire. In the realm of entertainment, there's a rich history of individuals bringing dreams to life and captivating audiences. Think about how stories shared by family members can ignite imagination and lead to remarkable journeys. Take, for instance, a young Walt Disney, inspired by his father's tales of wonder from the 1893 Chicago World's Fair. These stories fueled his passion for creating magic, eventually giving rise to the magical world of Disney. Another key figure in this narrative is Harry Carey Jr., who not only brought charm to the screen, but also added warmth and charisma to the show. His connection to the world of Disney wasn't just professional, it was deeply personal, tied to family bonds, and a shared love for storytelling. Then there's Kurt Russell, whose career path took unexpected turns, intersecting with Disney in meaningful ways. From debuting alongside Elvis Presley to portraying the iconic musician himself, Russell showcased his versatility as an actor. His memorable roles left an impression on audiences, contributing to the enchantment of the magical world of Disney. These interconnected journeys, whether through family ties or professional collaborations, wove together a rich tapestry of experiences that resonated with viewers of all ages. The dream of Walt Disney continued to evolve, shaping the entertainment scene and leaving a lasting impression on those who experienced the magic firsthand. In the world of entertainment, there have been notable figures who've left their mark on both the big screen and television. One such person started acting at a young age, appearing in several movies that garnered attention, including ones nominated for the prestigious Best Picture Oscar. Another talent, known for leading roles in beloved Disney films, made an early exit from acting, feeling confident in his understanding of filmmaking. Meanwhile, a familiar face from a popular TV series found himself sharing screen time with relatives by marriage in his career. These individuals, each with their unique journeys, added depth and variety to the narratives they contributed to. Their experiences shed light on the diverse paths taken by those involved in the world of entertainment. In a popular TV show from the past, some familiar faces made a big mark. The one guy who was really good at doing different voices worked on trailers for big movies like Star Wars. He also did voices for Disneyland rides like The Haunted Mansion. Another person, Ike Eisenman, decided to change his name for a while, which made it hard to find info about him. But then he switched it back. And there's Kurt Russell, who's been with Goldie Hawn for a long time. Kate Hudson, their kid's friend, decided to name her own son after Kurt Russell. These connections show how the people from the show still matter today. In the series, Walt Disney's favorite song was Feed the Birds from Mary Poppins. When he was feeling down, he'd asked Richard M. Sherman to play it. Disney saw the song as a perfect reflection of his company's spirit and why he founded Walt Disney Pictures. Kurt Russell, who attended Thousand Oaks High School in California, graduated in 1969 and was voted best looking by his classmates. Pat Crawley portrayed John Bennett Perry's wife in Both Friends in The Closer. In the 1950s, a young actor named Kevin Corcoran gained fame for playing mischievous kids on screen. His charm won over audiences, while Fess Parker, another rising star, showed promise with a small role in Man on a Tightrope. Pat Crowley, an actress known for her versatile roles, married Ed Hookstratton, a big name in Hollywood representation. Together, they made waves in the industry. These talents left their mark on entertainment history during a dynamic era. Their stories continue to enchant audiences, proving the lasting power of entertainment. 
In its early days, notable actors such as Brian Keith, Kurt Russell, and Fess Parker graced the magical world of Disney. Brian Keith, for instance, made an appearance on the first episode of Murder, she wrote in 1984. Kurt Russell's career took an interesting turn when he opted out of playing Connor McLeod in Highlander to star in Big Trouble in Little China in 1986. Fess Parker showed his loyalty to his longtime friend Buddy Epson by attending his funeral in 2003. These instances highlight the diverse paths taken by actors who were once part of the magical world of Disney. In later years, Robert Loggia bore a striking resemblance to Ben Gazzara, often causing confusion between the two. Born in the same year, they passed away just three years apart. Meanwhile, Harry Carey Jr. shared the screen with Ben Johnson in a total of nine films throughout their careers. Lastly, Kim Richards found herself engaged to commodities salesman John J. Collett, whom she met at an AI meeting. Tragically, Collett was murdered in a suspected business-related incident while the couple was conversing over the phone. In the show, Paul Fries uses his voice as the ghost host, leading people through the haunted mansion attraction and adventure through inner space. His unique voice, with its deep tone and spooky rhythm, became linked with the eerie charm of the haunted mansion. June Foray, born in 1917, was a skilled radio artist whose talent graced the show with her versatility and charm. Her ability to bring different characters to life added depth and dimension to the storytelling. Walt Disney unknowingly inspired the character Merlin in The Sword in the Stone as both he and the legendary wizard were seen as clever yet playful figures, adding magic to their respective tales. Freeze, Foray, and Disney each played a significant role in the series, contributing to its lasting appeal and enchanting audiences for generations. Their collective talent and creative vision continue to be loved by fans, ensuring that the magical world of Disney remains a special part of our cultural heritage. Annette Funicello, a breakout star from the series, gained immense popularity as one of the Mouseketeers. Walt Disney, emphasizing her image, requested she wear a one-piece swimsuit in her beach movie debut, instead of a bikini. Recognizing her appeal, Disney gave Funicello her own show, Annette, and capitalized on her success with merchandise like comic books, Meanwhile, Kurt Russell, who appeared later in Disney productions, was initially considered for a role in The Expendables, but turned it down, leading Bruce Willis to step in. Their contributions added depth to the series. Influential figures in the entertainment industry have left their mark on history. One such person was Walt Disney, known for creating a famous series of films. Among the notable individuals involved was Paul Fries, recognized by the Library of Congress for his roles in eight culturally significant movies. Another name to remember is Kurt Russell, who was considered for a part in a well-known film before it went to Robert De Niro. These people played key roles in shaping entertainment, leaving a lasting impression on audiences worldwide.